Well, boys, it finally happened. So I finally got myself a Citation driving the Mach 1. Now, it's not the Citations that I would like, to be honest. Um, it's some BS, bro. It really is some BS. And I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys the four infractions that they gave me. And I can only discuss three because the other one is still currently pending. And I'm waiting for the final outcome of that. So, let me go ahead and read them to you. The first one that they gave me was an unsafe speed violation. Now that's the one that I can't currently give you guys a full bunch of information on, but when the time comes, I'll give you exactly what happened or what was the outcome. The second one that they gave me was a non-DOT seatbelt violation. So if you guys are not aware, I currently have a four point harness in both the passenger and the driver's seat of this car. Now I fully am aware that those are track seat belts and so on and so forth. I didn't, I've gotten pulled over when I had my previous cars and I had the same four point harnesses, but obviously different brand. Never been an issue with any cop, but I guess those guys were either car guys or just understood or really didn't care about those type of violations. The next one that they gave me is probably one of the most typical ones, which is no front plate. And to be honest with you guys, this car never came with a front plate, so I never stressed it. And again, I've been pulled over before and I've never had an issue with a cop giving me a no front plate. Uh, citation, uh, let alone like I always get cops whenever I'm driving this. Uh, all the cool cops, they'll give me a thumbs up, they'll give me like a little peace sign and you know, stuff like that, like a little head nod saying, hey, like, you know, they like the car type stuff, never been an issue. And the fourth one and the final one that they gave me, but they ended up crossing off was a window tint violation. But to be honest with you, I do have window tint, but it's like old and faded and it didn't even make sense. So like when they pulled me over, I had my windows down and in the little quarter ones that I have, there is no tint on those. Uh, when I put those those quarter windows on, when I originally painted the car, I had them remove the tint because one of them didn't have it and the other one did. So I just said, hey, just remove them. I'll get to it when I get to it. I never got to it because the car barely has even hit the streets. So for them to even try to give me a citation for that and then to cross it off, to me, that was an indicator that they were fishing per se. Now, given the fact that two of those four, which is technically three, or three, I just gave you two for the pinky, one for the stinky type, but, but out of those four violations, three of them I can actually, I guess you could say, fix. So the first one's gonna be a no from plate, right? So I had to go to my local AAA. So you can either go to AAA or you can even go to uh, your D local DMV. You'll get some new license plates, right? So here's one, here's two. So now I have two brand new license plates, which is kind of weird because it's a whole different setup, I guess. But the cool thing about it is that it's a super easy one to remember this time around, um, which is good for me and also not good for me because if someone wants to just remember my license plate, they can. So I paid $27 to get new license plates with new stickers and everything, which kind of leads me to my next little situation. Yo, the sticker thing is a fucking scam, bro. The registration and all that shit is a scam. They gave me brand new stickers for the month and the year, and it's only 27 bucks with new license plates. So that just leads me to believe that, you know, we're getting scammed here in Cali for paying all the fucking fees that we're paying when they could literally just give it to me for 27 bucks, a whole new set. But I digress. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and install the front plate and I'm also gonna be removing the harnesses. But since I have to remove them, I have to put in the original ones. And I went to my local junkyard and I got these. Now I tried to find the ones that had the same interior as mine. These are a little bit dirty, obviously, because they've been in a junkyard and uh, you know, the previous owners, I don't know how clean they kept their car, but these are pretty dirty. And I try to clean them outside of the vehicle, but for some reason, it just doesn't let you extend them. So I'm assuming that there's like a pressure lever here somewhere that once this bolt is in, it releases the little mechanism that goes on the side, which let me show you. This one has like a little clear plastic. So like you can kind of see how it moves. Yeah, so it's locked and I'm assuming that because there's no, this is like a pressure thing. You 
know what I mean, for safety. So once I go ahead and install that, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can go ahead and clean them. And hopefully they work, because I didn't even get to test them on the car. They were just already kind of like someone unbolted the bottom part and the, this one was still in. So we're gonna go ahead and install these along with the license plates and I have to make a license plate bracket because I am not trying to go into my bump. Ugh. I'm gonna lay down for this one. All right, so as you guys can see, I got myself a little bracket, a license plate, and I'm gonna go ahead and makeshift some brackets that essentially, they're gonna kinda look like this, if that makes any sense. So they'll sit like that. Uh, they're gonna sit a little bit away from the actual bumper. Uh, but at the end of the day, guys, it doesn't really matter because I wanted to show you guys something. You guys see that right there? And look at that right there, all bad. And then look at this right here. So I recently got the lip repainted and well i'll discuss this in a future video but just know at the end of the day i could essentially just drill into the bumper and i once i get it repainted they can go ahead and fix it but that's more work that i don't want so i'd rather just have it underneath where it's kind of out of the way and i mean to be honest if i really wanted to put them back on i could do it so hopefully my little makeshift thing here will work but if not i'll let you guys know all right so now that i got them cut and measured and the same size as you guys can see oops, they sit right there with each other now i have to go ahead and create some little i guess you could say bigger holes on both of these right here and then another two on the bottom and try to make them a little bit bigger so i can go ahead and fit the uh screws that i am looking to i guess install now i'm gonna be honest with you this is probably my best work at an affordable rate. So this little black one right here, this one you can get it at any, I guess, auto parts store. It's just a little bracket that holds it. Uh, the license plate if you want to drill it into the bumper itself. So I ended up grabbing one of those to kind of give me my placement so I can use these brackets that I made shift right here that I just bent it and put them all. So I think this is it's pretty good given the fact and it looks pretty sturdy if we're being honest. All right. Yep, looks pretty good. I like that. And that cost me a total of, what, less than 20 bucks? <laughs> not bad. Now the one thing that I am thinking is, originally I wanted, oop, that's not good. Originally, I wanted to put it under here, but I just thought about it. I'm like, well, the bumper's cracked. Obviously, I'm gonna get it repainted. Why put holes in an area where I don't want to put them? I could just remove the bottom lip and then slap it underneath like so. And then that essentially is how it'll look. I think I'm gonna go with that route. I'll just remove this, put the holes underneath, and then once I put the lip back on, you won't even notice. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm just gonna paint the, br the brackets themselves black. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna hold on to them and like slap them on the car forever, but I mean, it is a fix-it ticket, so shouldn't be that crazy to just fix again. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and remove the harness bar, the harnesses, and try to remove some of the paneling that's like right here, like this one here, move the harness bar, obviously, and then uh, whatever things go with it. But we might have to remove that panel and then maybe this one and remove some of that. But I guess we'll only find out once we start doing it. So I just hate that I have to do this. This is so dumb. Like harnesses are pretty safe. And then I already don't have an airbag. So you know what? I'm I'm happy that they didn't get me for <laughs> this one right here because this one would have sucked. But uh, yeah, this, this sucks in general. So let me go ahead and knock this out really quick. Let me give you some of that YouTube magic. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and now as you guys can see, I got all the panels off. The, I'm gonna end up taking this off, but this is gonna be in a future video because I wanna go ahead and get it um, reupholstered because as you guys can see, it's flapping and I figured out right now that it's like pretty easy to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but in a future video. As of right now, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I already went ahead and removed this. I have to readjust all the panels that I removed, I have to put them back on, gotta put the seals properly back on, all that, all that good stuff. But seatbelt is on and it works exactly how it's supposed to. Yeah, there you go. Works, it's already installed down there. And I am currently working on this side. Now I didn't go ahead and do this side right away because I wanted to show you guys, but just to give you guys a heads up, see, this is already installed, this one's already installed, working properly, and that is already 
installed and tightened. Now, I was gonna go ahead and install both of these, which are is pretty much where the seatbelt locks into, but I only have the pa I mean the driver's side. So I'm gonna install the driver's side and then go to the junkyard and get the passenger side one because this is all I could find in my box of miscellaneous parts that I took off and stuff like that. So I'm gonna install this and then put that panel back on and then just make sure everything is working properly and we should be good to go. All right, so now that everything is finally installed, as you guys can see, that is put back together. That one is put back together and then the seatbelts work. The only issue that I'm currently having right now is that this seatbelt that I went ahead and pulled on uh, is actually from a different year. So this one's probably from like a 94, 95 from the Mustangs that I used to have because this is supposed to go into the, I guess you could say the tunnel and the one that go for these seats uh, actually go on to the actual seat rail itself. So I'm gonna have to go to the junkyard and go get me two buckles or I don't know what you call these, but I need to go get two of those. But overall, this is gonna get, uh, take some getting used to. But yeah, it works, it's functional. And uh, if you're wondering, again, why I haven't put the those little sails on, I believe they're called sail panels, uh, is because I'm gonna end up removing this and I'm gonna get the tent installed. So I figured, don't put that on until the tent goes back on, that way they can get into the, the edges that are right here a lot better. Uh, but with that being said, guys, thank you guys for tuning in today. I know this video was kinda, I don't know, it felt to me like it was just kinda like not that detailed into like me doing all the work and stuff. Some of you guys like that, some of you guys just like the videos getting straight to the point. But with that being said, if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell because it'll let you guys know every time we upload. Again, guys, see you guys on the next one. Peace.